Hello, hello everyone. Magandang hapon sa inyong lahat. So, yeah, thank you for joining us. Sa ating mga live viewers, uh, you can type hello sa comment section. I'm not really sure kung makikita natin. But because uh, we're trying this uh, new thing where we are streaming live from our Facebook group last time wow. sa Facebook page. But uh, we're still experimenting with this. Anyway, good afternoon. I'm Marv De Leon. I'm the founder of Freelance Blend and the host of Freelance Blend podcast. Uh, welcome to COVID break. So it's our second uh, COVID break wherein we take a break from all the uh, um, yung news na negative about COVID. And we start try to focus on what's next and what we can do about it how we can we can adjust and pivot uh so that uh when we when the lockdown is over um um ano pa rin, we're still we're still okay in terms of our uh, income in terms of our business uh with me today is my co-host shoden shoden uh say hi and introduce yourself hey guys i hope you're having a great day thursday ngayon and uh I hope na nag-enjoy kayo dyan sa bahay kasi wala naman tayong ibang pwede yung punta. <laughs> and also, oh, we can we can actually just uh, talk about the positive things and neutral things that uh, <laughs> that we can do dito sa situation natin to help everyone. And also, we will find out today what actual people and communities are doing to have still that sense of closeness and human, you know, even while social distancing. So, mm -hmm. Astig yung Thursday afternoon natin ngayon. Ayun o, may... Thursday na pala. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'd like to introduce Herlene. Herlene? Hello. Hi guys, um, this is Herlene. I'm a content strategist and I'm also the founder for Creative Labs PH. Uh, we're a digital marketing agency. And I'm a home cook and a domesticated diva. So I'm so happy to be here today because um, I know that most of us, especially mga freelancers and actually even the ordinary citizens are wondering how to manage finances better, especially during these trying times. So I'm very excited to hear from our experts, um, Sir Fritz and Ms. Ditas. All right. Thank you, H. And also, we have Rona back. Um, she was with us last week. Uh, can you introduce yourself again? Hello, everyone. I'm Rona. I'm a co-founder of Cine de Oro Productions. We do film and video productions. But now, we actually specialize in video for digital content. So our most of our content has to do with documentaries events coverage and international productions so especially now in the creative field it's been quite you know the challenge like what we talked about last week and hopefully we can deepen the discussion today and widen the scope as well for other small businesses and how we can all work together and on how also there's a lot of potential still in, and especially now in the digital world on how to revive businesses. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Rona. And now it's, I think it's time to introduce our guests for today. Uh, ladies first. So um, I reached out to this lady because uh, she's, I, I saw that she's the admin of a Facebook group that uh, I found very interesting, especially during this lockdown. Uh, it's called um, Merville Home Sarap because I'm near Merville. And um, during the lockdown, well, lockdown pa rin, during the start of the lockdown, so naghanap na kami ways where to get our, syempre, food. Because uh, the yung first week, we don't know yung mga quarantine pass, ano bang mangyari, can we go out of our barangays and buy outside and then can we kumakalabas kami makakabalik ba kami so uh, we found this uh, group na Merville Home Sarap and I was uh, surprised na ang daming nagpo-post and uh, they were posting mga home cooked meals na uh, so my wife introduced it to me and then uh, may isang seller na 
pinuntahan namin and then you're happy with uh, I think yun yung breads and uh, meats. So parang sabi ko galing nito ah. Tapos I I researched and I found na and dahil pala around meron din sa BF and meron din sa ibang parts of Metro Manila. And so I reached out to our guest today, Miss Ditas Antenor. She's a food stylist and the founder of Home Sarap Facebook Groups, the premier Facebook group focused on home cooked food in BF area, uh, BF, Merville, Metro East, Antipolo, Pasig, and Makati BGC areas. So welcome, Ditas. Hello. Hello. Hi, everyone. I'm Ditas. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Good to see you okay. here. And yes. then our our other guest is none other than si Fitz Villafuerte. So I've known him for a long time. He's the very first uh, guest ko sa aking podcast, Freelance Blend Podcast. He's on episode number one and two. Uh, yung podcast na yun nasa episode 150 plus na. So uh, matagal ko nakilala si Fitz. So si Fitz is the founder of uh, Personal Finance. Is yeah, sorry. Uh, founder of readytoberich.com, a personal finance business investment website. Um, managing director of financial consultancy firm called Wealth Archie, and co-founder of freelancing marketplace 199 Jobs. Welcome, Fitz. Hello, Welcome. hi everyone. Kamusta? Yeah. Uh, kamusta sa mga nanonood? Yan. And I hope marami silang matutunan sa uh, natin ngayong afternoon, no? So hello, thank you for inviting me here. It's a it's a privilege na makasama dito sa uh, Facebook Live natin, no? Ano yan, yeah, Marvin? Ako rin. Yeah. I have to acknowledge din si uh, yung, iba niyang palayo actually is Brad Fitz. <laughs> ah, okay. And I have to also acknowledge him. He's one of my first internet mentors din na uh, Pinalo ko since wow, okay. Thank you. before mag, ano, before mag-2000, basta matagal. <laughs> and, <laughs> Ganun katagal na. Yeah, inagawa ko siya sa kanya, sinusundan ko yun. Kasi taga-UP din kasi ito si, si Brad Fitz. And <laughs> palagi siyang, ano, parang, when he wrote to his list before, which I was a part of, he would actually, parang, pa lay out kung ano yung ibang pwedeng pagkakitaan. So he's an expert with helping people to not just save and be financially conscious. But since photographer siya, eh, ano rin ito, uh, photographer din ako noon. Tapos may mga tinuturo siya sa mga, uh, mga emails niya na. Kasi ay nasa. Oh, parang ano, parang how to do mystery shopping. Parang, uy, itry ko kaya itong mystery shopping, sabi ko. <laughs> Tapos ginawa ko rin. Tapos, uy, okay ito, may bayad to ah. So ma- marami siyang tips na ganun. So I ultimately parang followed him talaga so yun and mula nung dati hindi talaga si Fitz nag ano nag fail to deliver so yan he's an example na kahit covid ano siya um nandun yung community that he developed so this is this is a shining example na if you're a business right now if you want to thrive and survive kailangan mo talaga na may may connection ka sa audience mo whether yes. online or offline so yun uh, Astig bro na nakuha natin si Brad Fitz. Ngayon. <laughs> oh, salamat. <laughs> salamat. So, tama, tama. Itanong natin siya later about that. Yeah. Ako rin pwedeng mag-acknowledge yan kasi medyo low-key sure, fangirl sure. lang ako dito. Matagal actually, ko na rin siyang sinusundan sa YouTube, actually. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, nag-ulat nga ako na parang, ay, totoo ba? Nasa Facebook group siya. <laughs> so, medyo survey lang for me. Because since last year then, especially when we were um, reviving, when I was looking for new business partners and I was afraid, I had a lot of anxieties about, you know, my own finances. So I was serious about learning personal finance and investments, insurance. So in, on YouTube, Wealth Archie, the, the channel, the channel ni La Surfits, that's really what I said. One of the best ones out there when it comes to like, you know, parang ipe-play mo lang sila at mag-uusap lang sila, tapos chill lang. Tapos, pero at the same time, very informative. <laughs> very insightful. <laughs> tapos parang kasama ko lang mag-breakfast, nanonood kung pinapanood ko sila, oh. kumakain sila, nang na merienda sila dyan. <laughs> <You should. laughs> uh. <laughs> so, sa videos kasi na rin, kapit lang sila. Brad Pitts kasi. Ano talaga yung Brad Pitts? <laughs> so, yeah. 
it's a uh, it's very cool it's a very exciting guest we have today everyone so i can also vouch for that yeah all right all right dahil palang fans dito fits <laughs> oh nga eh na yah yah thank you sa mga very humble yah <laughs> Very Actually, kahit nakikita ko na siya, yung nakakaharap ko na siya, nahihiya pa rin talaga akong mag-approach. <laughs> <laughs> Rockstar, ah. Rockstar. And since, uh, yeah, karamihan sa atin, kilala na si Fitz. Uh, siguro, let's start with Ditas. Uh, yeah, again, very interesting na uh, ang galing na ginawa niyang group. Uh, siguro, tell us your uh, story, how you, uh, before Home Sarap, tapos uh, what made you start Home Sarap? Okay. Um, it started with BF Om Sarap, no? But before BF Om Sarap kasi, um, first of all, let me uh, introduce myself. I'm a professional food stylist. Uh, I've been doing that for <laughs> more than 20 years yata. As a freelance professional food stylist, I do food styling for advertising, for commercials, for print, and et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so that means I cook. So I know how to cook, and I know how to make it look telegenic and photogenic. So that's my job. Now, um, we lived in Alabang for the longest time. First it was here, and then we moved back. I grew up in Alabang, so that's my home. And then um, transferred here to BF, and then moved back, lived there for like 11, 12 years. And then a year ago, we moved back here in BF. Um, okay, my children, they're all grown-ups already. Um, of course, they're your usual millennials no, or 20s, early 20s. And of course, they like pizzas, burgers, and all that. But since I cook, and I cook very, very regularly, they grew up to home cooking. Okay? So when we moved here, I was cooking like, almost every day and every day. And then um, my son who was going to be, um, uh, who will be living na in Pampanga because the flying school, well, syempre, it's like a dorm there. I had to cook a lot of food, okay? But it conflicted with my work. As my, wor my, my, my work is very erratic, very toxic. Sometimes it can go as long as 24 hours. So that means I was losing already time to cook for the house, home cooked food, and we didn't. We didn't want to keep on ordering um, fast food like pizzas, burgers all the time, or fried chicken all the time. So I said, maybe what if I um, start a community in Facebook composed of home cooks and, and people like me, you know, who will want to order from neighbors. Kasi in Alabang, nag-private chef pa ako ng konti. But only for, uh, konti lang, select few, just my friends. Kasi wala silang cook, minsan, maalis, di ba? So nagluluto ako and then they just pick it up from the house. So I wanted to replicate that. Sabi ko, I want to invite neighbors who cook well. Or, basta, basta, wait, basta who cook from home. And then I wanted to invite people like me. Who will want to have those dishes delivered or I'll pick them up? Dishes like sinigang. You know, we're talking about everyday dishes. Dishes like minudo or you get the drift. That's what I wanted. So I, I set it up last April. Oh, nag one year na kami. Faith, uh, and then I coined it since I wanted it neighborly. So I go, okay, the, the word BF has to be there. Sempre advertising ako in one word, tapat it should already immediately denote what it means, no? Like in three words, or kung advertising in 30 seconds, dapat tapus ng kwento. So ito, in one word, tapus ang kwento, alum na dapat. So BF, it has to be from home. BF homes, it's there. Okay, ang ang pagkain. So I coined it. It's it's sarap home sarap. That's how it started. BF home sarap. And then um, I invited sellers from other because there are already a lot of existing 
Facebook groups uh, about food, okay? We went through those and invited them to join. And then I also invited uh, friends from, uh, you know, the, the community. And then that's how it grew. It's like a member get member thing. And then I went, oh, not only that, uh, I said, I don't, I don't want to be just a typical Facebook group. I want engagement, okay? I just, I don't want it just to be like a buy and sell. And then gonna. So what did I do? Nung kokonti pa, lang yung, kokonti pa lang yung members, I came up with, ito ah, magaling kayo, kino ba si content creator? Content, okay? H. H, H. So I can't. Nag-self-study ako, how do you market something uh, dito dito sa Facebook? Kasi I'm not a digital native. Sabi, ah, you have to post several times in one week. Something that's um, relevant to the market that you want to uh, capture. So, um, I researched. All of my tags were always home, cooking, family, community. Yun. And then, di ba, ganun yun, no? yung mga tags, no? delivery. Ganun. So there, naghanap na ako ng mga relevant um, topics. I put it in my notepad because our phone has a notepad. And then, I scheduled it na. I don't know. I think that's the way to do it, right? So I scheduled it. I just kept on posting and posting what I thought were relevant articles. And then, I engaged with the buyers and the sellers, I would PM them, kamusta na kayo, oh, malakas na benta, and ganyan. And then the sellers naman, I, I, I answered all of their questions, and that's how it started. Pretty soon, it was going on its own na. And then, um, by some by middle of the year, it, sabi ko, I'm gonna uh, convert it to a private group, pero hindi, eh, dumadami pa rin. Until when I asked, what do you think? Do you think we should have a food fair this December? Quiet sila. So we had a food fair um, composed of all the buyers. Um, I curated the list of sellers para maganda. Puro home cooks lang talaga. And then we had a very successful food fair last December. Now membership is about 11,000. 11, wow. Madami na rin sa Metro Manila. Yeah. Mm. May uh, question ako for Ms. Ditas. Yes. Go, go. Yan. Ano pala guys, si Pipi Apis ka, si ano H? H? Si H kasi masarap magluto yan. Kaya uh, may question siya para sa kayo. Sure. Ako natin kung ako nalito ni H. I'll kaya. answer all your questions. <laughs> <laughs> Yan, kasi ako din, I also, um, I also cook. And um, one of the things that I launched last year was... Uh, a home delivery, parang food packs na delivered at home. So I tried yung mga um, diet food, but it was too difficult kasi I had to do everything na ako lang mag-isa kasi I had 10 orders and everything was handmade. And um, last March, actually nakakatawa kasi when I was starting out um, the, the food business again, nangyari naman to. So um, I know it's a challenge, she froze. Naputol ka, H. Al. Uh, ano kaya yung tanong ni H? Ano kasi, um, I think I'm familiar with what happened with H. So, habang she's trying to get back on the call, yun niya, um, she, I noticed that he, she started her, ano, her delivery. Ay, dito na siya. Pero naging unsuccessful yun. Kasi na, wala ba ako? What the fuck? Okay. Ayun, wala ako, sorry. Ayun, wala ako, sorry. Ayun. Um, so, actually, my question is, how do you source the the, uh, no, the ingredients and how do you keep the business running, especially during the time of lockdowns? It's hard to source the ingredients. Okay. Um, first of all, I am not a seller. Even if a lot of people have wanted me to sell, okay, because I cook, I am pretty, not bad, no? Siyempre, to be in the business of food styling, you have to be an advanced cook. I, but I know my scope, okay? I know that I have other things to do kasi, so I don't sell. I really don't sell. So 
I don't think I can answer your question. Um, but I, although I'm familiar with some of their challenges, but I don't. I wouldn't know how. To, yeah, yeah to answer to your question. Yeah, yeah. And also to our viewers, yung uh, si Ditas is a uh, parang siya yung community builder. So she oh, built the community. Yes, 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 I built the for, community. Yeah. Through Facebook groups, yung uh, yung marketplace for home a uh, home cook curse. Yeah. 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 It's like chef. a virtual marketplace. Oh yeah. yeah. So ang question ko would be, I'm sure there are other community groups like Home Sarap, what makes you different? And bakit uh, I notice yung quality of the sellers there na parang uh, they they are mukhang karamihan mga sa kanila are trustworthy and I've, we've been able to uh, transact with uh, a number of them already. Yeah. Mukhang, yeah. Um, uh, well, wala namang okay. high quality nga yung mga, yung mga tao. Doon. Yes. Ah, uh, well, I chose first so nagkaroon kami ng BF Home Sarap, no? And then after what it, it spawned because friends wanted to have their own in their own community. So right now there's the second one was Merville, okay? And then after that um someone wanted somewhere in Antipolo. So there's mm -hmm. in Antipolo, and there's Metro East and then nagkaroon ng Pasig and Makati slash PGC. Mga bago lang tong mga to. So, dapat pala doon um, ako mag-join. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah, uh, yeah. We joined the package. Okay. Kung, kung saan kayong malapit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ay, ay ka, diba, H? Now, going, oh. back, going back to your question. Going back to your question. Um, bakit parang iba to? And then you notice that your the sellers are more or less parang, you know, from a different... Okay, let's, let's admit it. Iba yung level, di ba? It's because I established very, very strict rules in accepting both sellers and buyers. Um, for first, I chose my admins and co and moderators very carefully. Um, I wanted them to be very um, vigilant. Madami uh, akong rules na like okay, no irrelevant posts. Masa sa mga rules pala makikita mo if you're not a serious, serious seller you'll be out in a week, okay? And if you don't follow the rules. Um, madaming um, bawal. Bawal mag-post na hindi nakalagay yung presyo, okay? That I'm very, very strict about that. Yung mga, ayaw ko ng HM, HM, PM is the key. Ayaw ko yun. <laughs> yun. Why? Because it's unfair competition. And it, it um, if I'm a buyer, I want it to be easier for the buyer because it gives me already na, okay, I already know magkano yan, uh, for example, one serving of, let's say, maki or sushi is, uh, let's say, 150 pesos. Ayoko nang magharap, maghanap ng, you know, or tatawag pa ako, PM, PM pa. Basta nakita ko, 150 sold. I want to order five packs. Because that is the demographics of our groups, eh. Okay? We are not we're not talking to, um, we're talking to residents, communities, who have no, who can probably afford such, you know, hindi na tatawad. Wala nang tawaran, tawaran, please lang. Yeah. And um, it, it's like, di ba kayo rin, when you go, gusto nyo naka-display na yung pressure, you wouldn't want to go to the sales clerk and ask, uy, magkano ba tong... 14-inch TV na to. Gusto mo nandun na eh, diba? So, yon. That's just one rule. Okay? I can be very lenient. Yun yung sinasabi ko sa mga moderators that I chose also. Pag nakita ko na, tigas ng ulo nito ah. Um, I, I sabi ko, I'm sorry but I'm gonna turn off commenting for a while. And then, ganito yan. I, I, let me just turn off commenting and I'd like you to put, I'd like you to post your prices in the caption. If tomorrow I don't see it, goodbye. Ganon. Out na siya. Nice. Mute author. <laughs> yeah, oh. mute author muna. But if the person does it again, they say, oh, it's you again. Ganyan lang ako magsalita. How you're talking to me. Oh my God, it's you again. Di ba rin before? I already told you not to do this. And you're doing it again. Listen, ha? listen. If I don't see this, the prices in three hours, 
I'm going to block you. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ito na po. Ito na po. So there. But some, they ignore me. They ignore me talaga. Second time, three times. It's just that, okay, block. Okay, block. It's, it's, ganun. That's why, matitino naman, matitino yung mga sellers natin. Go yeah. on. Yeah. yeah. That's what again, makes again, it different. That's what makes it different. I can attest to that. And yung wife ko nga is a, is a big fan of Home Sarap. <laughs> Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. How nice. It's Dami na order. <laughs> yeah, especially now. Especially now. Yes. Especially yes. now. And That's siguro, right. we'll, like, yeah, we'll talk about that, yung ano ba yung effect ng, ng, ng lockdown. So siguro it's time na rin to introduce our, our main topic, which is uh, how can small businesses survive and thrive during and after the lockdown? So um, let's ask naman si Fitz, um, being a serial entrepreneur yourself um ano bang ano namang sigurong what can you uh, advise sa ating mga small business owners uh, that they should uh, start doing right now especially if uh, biglang bumagsak yung negosyo nila uh well depende kasi sa negosyo <laughs> no? and uh, of course um the best time that uh, the best thing that you can do right now if talagang sarado yung business mo is to plan on kung ano ba yung pwede mong gawin after the quarantine after the lockdown and if i may comment kanina doon sa sabi ni H uh, tanong mo kung how do you source out yung mga ingredients mo right now no um meron kasing ano meron kasing parang karindiria dito na malapit sa amin. And um, iba yung binibenta niya ngayon uh, than the usual menu niya. So I think ang ginawa niya ay siya yung nag-adjust. So with dun sa usual menu niya, I think siyempre limited din yung kaya niyang kunin na ingredients. So pinilitan niya yung mga binibenta niya. <laughs> So maybe that's something that you can consider and something that uh, entrepreneurs can do now. Um, try to see kung ano yung related or yeah, related product that you can sell uh, right now. Uh, kung impossible na mag-operate yung magkaroon ng normal operations ng business mo. Uh, for example, meron akong friend na meron siyang pharmacy. You know? So... Um, of course, uh, open pa rin naman yung, ano niya, yung pharmacy niya right now. Pero nakita niya, may opportunity. Um, meron siyang mga suppliers ng mga, di ba, uso-uso yung mga alcohol, and, and mga detergent, mga sabon, etc. And uh, to augment yung, yung income niya, uh, she started selling those items online and Fortunately, di ba, nagdi-deliver naman yung Lala Move ngayon. May mga logistics uh, services pa rin naman ngayon. So, yun ngayon yung ginagawa niya, especially dun sa barangay niya. Uh, so, you have to be creative. Uh, think of ways how you can make money kahit na naka-quarantine tayo, kahit na naka-lockdown. Uh, I've seen entrepreneurs who are trying to focus on building their brand instead. Mayroon akong... Uh, meron akong friend na may travel agency. Yun talaga, wala talaga siyang wala talaga siyang kita. Yeah. Tapos yung mga mga scheduled tours pa niya, no choice but to reschedule them. So tinanong niya ako, anong pwede niyang gawin? So sabi ko, you focus on building your community, you focus on uh, strengthening your brand because once the lockdown is over, once the pandemic is over, people will want to travel. So you have to be ready uh, when that happens. So for the meantime, it's all about preparation. And nakita ko naman, uh, uh, she's doing very well. Well, I, 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 see her ve- I see her very active with her community. Um, nag-research siya ng ano ba yung mga virtual tours, etc. Alam mo yun, just to entertain yung community niya. And... One of the reasons why I don't have a, a Facebook group sa, sa blog ko is I know how hard it is to to moderate a community. Kaya, mm-hmm. ano, uh, I really admire you, 
uh, ditas no kasi sakit sa ulo talaga mag-moderate before i was a moderator for a forum doon pa lang ang, ano yon sakit na ng ulo ko sa mga pasaway but <laughs> madami yan madami diba Yes, so, uh, ako, I don't think I would want to, alam mo yun, <laughs> uh, spend yeah. too much time and energy on moderating a group. So, yeah. I just try to maintain the page and all my other content channels. And uh, one thing that I've noticed, though, is once you're able to to build a community, uh, have a good following, sila na rin yung nagiging advocate mo. So, yeah. that's something that you can really invest on right now no building the community kasi later on yun nga uh, they will be the ones who will do your sales and marketing for you once yeah. everything starts to go back to normal going back uh, i i noted two things that you said you know it's about um opportunities during crisis and that that the so why now okay opportunities during crisis if i remember correctly back in my days as account manager no handling several uh, multinational brands and big brands na rin. I had very, very good mentors and they said that a lot of brands, a lot of businesses shut down during crisis. Tumitigil sila. And ang unang, ang pinaka-obvious there would be, kasi advertising kami, tumitigil yung kliyente mag-advertise. Kasi walang pera eh. Walang pera yung market, wala sila yung pera, ganun. But that's the biggest mistake, you know, I was told. No, I was still, mag, bata pa ako ng mga early 20s. I was told na it is during crisis when you should boost, boost your marketing efforts. Why? Well, okay, oh, this is a unique case, you know, COVID, co co COVID, you know, because we really don't know when it's going to end, when the lockdown, is it going to extend pa nga, you know. But still, I, 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 I'm still hopeful. Na, it, it will eventually end one day. Probably magri relax ng rules, you know, when the curve has flattened already. But you have to anticipate that. Don't just look at what's happening right now. As in other crises, nag recession tayo, I think several times na here in, in the Philippines. It is the very, very good brands that boosted their marketing and advertising during crisis. Because after the crisis, those brands were on top of mind, were on top of mind of the market, their target market, no one else. Like, sige, ngayon, bawa, like before, bawa lang, say, beer, bawa lang liquor, may liquor ban. Ngayon ka mag-advertise ng liquor. You don't have to say, buy this. Oy, oy, promo, promo. Hindi nga, bawal nga eh, liquor ban nga eh, no? But you have to put your brand out there. What are you going to put? Talk about, let's say you're selling, you're a liquor brand and you're selling uh, whatever, I don't know, about Lafroig or, or whatever, Glenn Devet or something. Okay, mga hakushu, you're gonna, I'm not a drinker. Um, I'm just saying that. That's an example. Or yung mga brandy brandy na uso ngayon, di ba? Eh, ano ba yan? MPM. MPM. <laughs> Ikaw, Fitz, ko, ba, ay, 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 ngayon kang mag-advertise. Mag-advertise. <laughs> talk about your brand. Ano ba yung mga sinasabi? For example, do you know how single malt is made? Blah, 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 blah. blah. Ay, ganun ba? Or magpakita ka ng mga nag-iinuman. You're not necessarily selling your product. But you are creating, trying to reach out to your market. So that by the time the crisis is over, your market still loves you. They identify with you. Nandun, kasama mo sila habang nagka-crisis. Your market will still love you. Yeah. If, if, I, if I may ask a question both to Ditas and Fitz, because there's an interesting move right now by corporations like Coca-Cola that they actually forgo the rest of their advertising yes. budget for the rest Perfect. of the year. Yes. And yes. Um, and then, you know, it's in solidarity for what's happening. Yes. Ano po yung thoughts nyo doon? Kasi, for example, especially if you're a small business, na, if you're a small business naman compared yeah, to yeah. these corporations, like, yes, yes. When, do you, when do you know that um, a move like that is a good move or it is it applicable if, even if you're not 
a corporation? Yep. Is that advisable yep. also? Okay, your you have two questions, no? Your question is about yeah. Coke, what they're doing right now. You're asking me if it's a good move, and you're asking me if it's applicable to small businesses. So let's go back oh. to your first question. Of course, I admire Coke and everyone. Oh. What they're doing right now, they're not necessarily, you know, but um, they're doing. Um, they're doing uh, advertising or communi communications that touches the heart, okay? That touches the heart of the consumer. It's not a hard sell, but that's important. Okay? You have to reach out to your to the, the, the psychographics of your user. Now, oi, I can identify with that. Yes, they know what I'm going through here in the house. I can't go out. We have problems. They understand me. And that's a big plus. That's a really a big plus for brand building and brand imaging. Now, going mm. back to your second question about, um, oh yeah, lack of notes, ah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Applicable to small businesses. <laughs> yes, why not? Okay, for example, uh, let's go back to BFM Sarap, no? Um, nahihirapan na, okay, mag-deliver. Kasi nga, wala nang lala move walang tricycle uh -huh. ganun so kasi i, I understand it kasi i have sellers na nako deeds nako hindi umabot yung hindi umabot yung product ko doon kasi hindi pinayagan yung lala move to enter the village because nag lockdown na they put up barricades around uh -huh. the entry points okay around the entry points no if you're not a resident and if you don't have a resident sticker you cannot go inside lala move delivery you know, people don't have the stickers okay so even in ayala alabang or as i said no i grew up last night meron akong pina deliver hindi na pwede makapaso it's only residents okay that's a problem for the food delivery um you know sabi niya ditas hindi nakapaso so yung sino pinasoli ko na uh, sinoli ko na lang yung bayad dun sa buyer from another you know, and then ano um, sabi ko okay tell you what sige tang soli mo yung bayad na yun na okay now here's what you do um extra effort ka ibenta mo kagad sa mga taong pwedeng bumili niyan right now sino ang pwedeng bumili niyan eh di mga kapitbahay Tawagan mo na, okay? Ito, I have unsold um, several pirate strays of, 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 of California Maki. In less than an hour na benta na. So, huwag kang tumigil. And then, sabi ko, yeah. okay, ituloy mo lang yan. Just keep on posting, keep on posting. Hindi lang siya ang buyer. Hindi lang siya ang customer. Mas madami pa. Sabi ko, now's the time. And then, tell them to pick it up, Okay? No choice, eh. No choice. Yeah. So the, the burden is now on the the buyer. Na, ay, wala na yung convenience of the products being delivered to me. So now I don't have a choice but to pick it up. Fine. Sige, I'll pick it up. There, offer. Kumbaga, don't stop. Now's not the time to stop. No, no talaga ng paraan. Look, that's right. Gumawa ka ng paraan. Sabi ko, gumawa ka ng paraan. Para-paraan lang yan. Madami pa dyan. Yun, yun na nga. Ay sabi ko, okay, can I just buy na lang yung hindi na benta? Ay, sorry, dito's naubos na. O, di ba? A stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nabenta niya kagad sa mga kapitbahay. And now, she's doing it more often, I, I guess. And I hope she's doing it more often. And you mentioned... Ditas uh, earlier na may spike, di ba, in terms of membership yes. sa group nyo? Yes, yes. There was I think a... I think ako yung nakakontribute doon sa... <laughs> talaga, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I was... Okay, the lockdown happened about three weeks ago, right? Before the lockdown, I was anticipating this already. Okay. Lockdown ka mo, ha? Oh, sige. Madaming mag-o-order na yon. Some were not taking it seriously. So I said, I told, okay, let's I told, I, I create a, a group of the administrators and moderators of BF, Omariville, Antipolo, Metro East, Pasig, Met, uh, 
okay, this is what's happening, girls. Let's go. We are. Let's relax the rules. Okay, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna change the privacy settings. Wala tayong papalitan dyan. But let's relax the rules. Okay, just for this crisis. Mm. We will not. Because before, I forbidden or not or hindi allowed yung mga big restaurants. Hindi pwede ang big restaurants. Or kahit mas mo, basta hindi pwede ang restaurants, hindi pwede ang fast food, hindi pwede ang ano. Because I wanted to focus on on ano, uh, home cooks. Because otherwise, if I allowed those restaurants, and let's say Jolly Bear, KFC, okay, na-mention ko na, no, Jolly Bear, okay. then what's gonna make me different from other buy yeah. and sell marketplaces, di ba? Sabi ko, no, bawal yon. So ngayon, sabi ko, okay, girls, relax the rules. Let's allow restaurants because they are going to close already. Magkaka-lockdown na yan. They're going to be prohibition on, on dine-ins, okay, in the restaurants. So sooner or later, they're going to close their restaurants. And they will look for other means to sell. You know. And right now, because of, so, because of the lockdown, there will be more people looking for food. There will be people who will look for venues to sell because the, the restaurants are locked now. So sabi ko, okay, let it slide. Let's invite them. Let's open it up. Let's open up also uh, membership requests from nearby communities. Parang public service na rin. Okay? But let's still be very, very vigilant with our um, policing efforts na walang pasaway, walang bastos, walang ano. Hmm. Titignan pa rin natin kung ano yung mga binibenta nila. At we were going to watch everyone's language no foul language, no, I'm not saying no badu, eh, no? No trolls. Everyone has, yeah, yeah, well, uh, uh, uh. basta, let's control it, okay? Walang, mm. kasi, as you said, Fitz, merong iba kasi, may nagpapatawa, pero yung humor naman nila, yung nakakatawa, di ba? Yung, <laughs> yung patawang asar, di ba? Sarcastic. <laughs> Kung baga, so sinasabi ko, oh, so you're sarcastic, ha? Yung mga ganun. You know, I am fluent in sarcasm also, but this is not the forum or the venue for this. Please get out. I, but I do that in PM. Please get out. Okay. Please delete your comment or I will delete it and mute you. So yun, madami na akong na-mute fits kasi yung mga patawang <laughs> din, wala sa lugar, di ba? So, <laughs> yung sinasabing, ang pangit naman niya, ano, ano ba't ba, ba, mukhang bato yung tinapay na, sabi ko, oh, <laughs> yeah, even if you had, even you have had an unpleasant experience with someone's order, uh -huh. sabi ko, please PM the seller na lang. That's not, you know, huwag ganyan, she's put, all businesses, ang hirap mag-establish ng business, and one negative, one negative review, one negative, can break uh -huh small business. So, yeah. so have a heart. Huwag na. Usapin mo diretso yung, yung baker or yung nagtinda. Uh -huh. and, and help her. Ang dami ko nang natulungan, actually. Yeah. Um, I just, you know, just want to go back and just clarify the question on the marketing budget aspect. Kasi, for example, right now, na a lot of the small businesses, hindi na nga kumikita. And when it comes to brand building, of course, that will entail budget pa rin kahit pa paano. Mm -hmm. Compared naman with com with corporations like Coke, they can afford or they'll yeah, live yeah. even yes, if yeah. they'll waive their advertising budget. And in fact, it'll strengthen yeah, their image, right? That they uh, waived, uh, they donated instead their advertising budget. So yes. if you're just a small business, parang how much of your budgeting now should you, should you, should be smart for you to allocate sa marketing compared sa operations compared like say sa pasweldo mo sa tao mo i think that's a common dilemma happening yeah. na para na akong budget pa marketing paano pa ako ma brand building or dapat ba lagyan ko sa marketing talaga yung budget instead of say pasweldo or something else so that's my question i guess to to further clarify lang for both the surfits and the citas yeah uh i'd like to share my thoughts no um <clears throat> I'm not uh, questioning the sincerity of Coke in helping. But <laughs> I think uh, it it went through 
um ano may on an analysis if what are we if this uh-huh. will be uh in line with our branding so of course uh-huh. um that move to forgo the advertising budget and just donate it of course uh demand yan sa sa approval na i think in the end it this will be good for our brand uh-huh. uh so that's why they did it so I believe na yun nga sabi mo mga corp- large corporations they have this budget so I think hindi and siguro in the first place meron talaga silang CSR so hindi masyadong uh, maapektuhan yung business nila uh, when it comes to small businesses I think ang unang kung meron ka mang CSR at may gusto kang tulungan I think your first responsibility are your employees So mm-hmm. make sure that you <clears throat> that they are taken care of. Uh, ngayon, since everybody's online, uh, you can probably think of creative ways to build your branding. Uh, na hindi mo kailangan gumastos. And if I may share an example, yung friend ko na mayroong bar, no? So siguro kapareho nung. Uh, Example kanina, no, kung beer brand ka or wine brand. Siyempre, sino ba yung target market mo? Yung mga manginom, ma- mahilig mag-party, etc. So, you doing a CSR siguro or announcing yung mga mga helpful information about COVID-19, etc. Uh, sabihin na natin, hindi masyadong mag-coconnect dun sa target customers mo talaga. Kasi nga, ito nga yung matipong happy-go-lucky party people. So, syempre, I'm just assuming na yun yung target market mo. And itong friend ko na may bar, ang ginagawa niya is tuwing weekend, Friday night and Saturday night, nag live stream siya ng music. As in, meron siyang online uh, party. May online rave party siya. So, dun sa Facebook page niya, uh, he gives a, a Zoom link. Tapos, Pinakita niya sa akin, there was, like, last week, parang more than 60 people yung nandun sa Zoom meeting niya na nag-DJ siya doon kasi yun talaga yung ginagawa niya. DJ siya. Tapos kanya-kanyang bili na lang daw ng beer. And ang importante noon is, he is still connecting with his customers. I don't think, uh, alam mo yun, it costs a lot yung ginawa niya. But, it, alam mo yun, people are relating doon sa ginawa niya. And mm-hmm. I believe, Once na mawala yung lockdown, di ba? people will go to his bar at pag-uusapan yes. nila na, remember mo yun, no? mga yeah. isang buwan tayo na sa bahay yeah. lang tayo nagpa-party. No? So, yeah. something like that. You think about your tar- target customers. What do you think are their pain points right now? And how can you address it creatively? So, mm-hmm. syempre, kung bar ka, ang customers mo, kating-kati na lumabas, kating-kati na okay, pag ano. So, try to see how you can solve it creatively. And mm-hmm. without spending a lot, no? Mm-hmm. And yun. So something that you can concretely do right now. Yeah. Okay. And same so, thing, you know. Same bro, thing. Like, like, okay. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Show them. Okay. And, uh, so yun, sakto, di ba? Palagi talaga, we all boil, uh, go back to how we can serve our customers better. And and for large businesses, like, yun nangyari kay Coke, ano sila eh? Um, alam na rin na actually ni Coke na yung Coke in the current form that it exists na, di ba, yung medyo unhealthy naman talaga yung Coke. Uh, <laughs> ang galing ng style nila is that, marami na, actually, marami na silang biniling healthy ng mga company. Hindi, hindi uh, lang natin alam. Pero, si Coke, si parang, could be right now, up post-COVID, they could be planning to, I don't know, kasi yung sales ng Coke versus yung benta nila dun sa tubig nila na products, mas mataas na alas yung, pang projection ng tubig lang. Meron sila mga bit water yung mga ano, yung mga ah, health okay mga na. ibang klase. Oh, yung mga ganun. So, um feeling ko parang ano to ni Coke na may goodwill pa rin kasi yun nga yung style nila, happiness in the bottle, 'di ba? So, sabi nga if it's in line. Pero what if if you're small small business that needs all of the the funds that you can use para 'di ba how to survive, how to para make sure that your employees are still ano. So, I, uh, after our call last week, uh, Marv, nung Tuesday this week, I actually conducted a training dun sa small group ko dun sa, yun yung sa freelancing group. So I'd like to share my screen ulit <laughs> to show you the actual things that they did para makita naman both as entrepreneurs and 
freelancers who will help those entrepreneurs. Because turns out, malayong parin palang transactions na nangyari. May meron parin palang exchange of value that happens kahit may corona tayo. So this this is my For screen sure. here, uh, guys. Yeah. While you're mm-hmm. while you're sharing your screen, just to mm-hmm. add, uh, yung Coke na ilang men- ilang beses natin na mention. So parang ito na yung marketing because we're talking about <laughs> Coke. Tapos uh, a lot exactly. of people want to. Yes. <laughs> Ayun yung pinag-usapan natin ngayon. Eh. Pinag-usapan siya. So that's their marketing budget. Last, last week, Ligo eh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, last week, Ligo yung pinag-usapan natin yung strategy ni Ligo. Ngayon, oh. it's Coke naman. Yeah, so yeah, it's effective kami, marketing pa. Ito kami gumagawa ng Ligo. So hmm. I'll share your screen, show then. And, thanks. So ito guys, what you can see here is a yoga studio or a fitness, parang fitness brand. So ngayon, um, itong isa namin na member, what she she did. So b- because we exercised that that ano that prerogative to proactively. So the key word here, if you're a freelancer or if you're a business, to proactively reach out to your audience. So in this case, because this is a freelancer a freelancing group ma. What what she did dito sa yoga yoga studio na to, she actually noticed na may followers pala siya sa sa IG. Right, may followers pala siya pero hindi niya pala na leverage yung IG na followers niya kasi nagpo-post lang siya ng mga workout photos. So, siya mismo, she went ahead and installed a landing page to collect emails but in exchange, nag-offer siya ng free work from uh, workout from home na routine for 14 days kasi sak parang sakto siya sa sa quarantine period nila dun sa sa state. So, what what ended up happening here, the actual numbers they they opted in around almost 700 people dun sa list that after covid could be remarketed to as yun sa paid products na so this could also be something that could be done here sa Pilipinas like uh, there was a question for me dito sa actual call where they asked me eh coach Roden paano kung ano paano kung mananahi yung ano <laughs> mananahi na very pinoy na local na talagang wala naman siya lang uh, ganun ano yung mabe-benefit nila from doing online so we had to creatively think about ano nga ba talaga yung parang pwedeng gawin so like ito literally tinuro nag, nag ano kami ng paano mag-reach out sa mga businesses who actually had the presence pero kung wala kang presence how can you start now so yun nga yung mananahi na na tanong nila was something that um, will actually make you parang really creative so kung mananahi ka pwede ka ngayon mag-start ng page mo. Parang mag-start ka lang mag-invite ng mga neighbors, ng mga friends na, ng mga, like, start going to groups, like, uh, lalo na yung mga nag-stay at home. Tapos, you could actually give away, again, create create that list, like sabi nga ni, ni Fitz and ni, ni Ditas na, build your brand pa din during the recession, during this uh, COVID, tawag ko sa kanya COVID season, eh, kasi parang, feeling ko <laughs> uh, para mas masaya naman kahit papayang season na lang yeah, hindi, yeah, yeah. No? But, okay. so what what you can come up with like yun nga yung mananahe so instead na wala nawawala na siya ng actual customers na magpapaayos ng damit di ba so what if magbigay siya ng uh, yun nga maliit na video mag mag Facebook live siya gawa siya ng Facebook live na paano magsulse or paano mag repair ng nasirang short pants or paano na hindi mo kang caveman yung tahi mo sa uh, ganun. So, so kahit wala ang list, pwede ka nang actually gumawa ngayon ng ano ng ng following mo kasi marami tao ang gustong makinig kasi syempre hindi sila makabili ng kung ano-ano, di ba? So so yun parang dito sa training namin, we really had, went to parang nag-check kami ng like paano namin kukunin yung mga emails sa mga tao na yan. Literally, we went through like nag-email din kami dito sa isang yoga place tapos ginawa ko, live namin siyang in-audit na, oy meron pala siyang ganitong followers, tapos, okay, meron pala siyang, so, nag, nagbukas kami ng email, literally, nag, nag-subscribe kami sa list niya, tapos, ginawa pa namin was, we actually check, uy, meron siyang ano, she's doing something great, kasi, sila mismo, nag-open sila ng yoga schedule using Zoom, Zoom, Zoom call, so, yung current audience nila, nag, may isa silang camera na nagbo-broadcast ng Zoom. Pero konting ingat lang tayo sa Zoom, di ba, di ba Marv? Kasi may, may vulnerability. Ibang week na lang yun. So, 
yan, nag, nag-compose kami ng email para din yung iba, uh, yan, may, may, may ano kami. So, pwede talaga both sides as freelancers and as entrepreneurs. Lalo pa kung yun nga, yung entrepreneurs, they, they have this fear na paano sila magkakaroon pa rin ng um, engagement or brand building during this time. Um, pwede mo pa rin silang i-approach if whether, yun nga, whether you own a business or whether you are a smart freelancer. So, yun, yun yung parang gusto kong i-point out dito na really, when everything seems na parang magulo na parang ano, it's, it's a really huge opportunity to help. Kasi andyan, andyan talaga yung mga tao na um, marami din yung may confusion because of uh, what, what's happening to their businesses. Pero you can always uh, parang try to be creative. Basta wag ka lang lagi mag, manunod ng mga news na pangit. Kasi mahirap maging creative if your head is filled with depressing thoughts and yung mga negative situations. So, yun. Yun lang naman. Yun lang naman yung song i-share, guys. Para, para din, ano... If you're a business, kahit ano pa nga dyan, um, in the crowd, those who are watching live right now, guys, kung meron kayong business, sige nga, kahit gano'ng kahirap, gano'ng ka... <laughs> try natin. <laughs> try natin, guys. I, I'd love for your engagement. Yeah. They can uh, comment I'd love to know. Their business. Oh, comment kayo. Sige nga, itapon natin kay Fitz, kay Brad Fitz, kasi <laughs> ano to si Brad Fitz, magaling mong pivot to eh. So, marami siyang businesses. Food related. Oh, may... Food related, meron siya. Meron din siyang yung photography, yung t-shirts. Tapos yung dating luma, yung computer shop. Tama. Kung ano-ano itong pinapasok ni Fitz. Lahat daw ng bagay, pwede kong i-monetize eh. <laughs> while, we're, while we're waiting for the question, for the comments, uh, siguro ko yun kay Fitz. Um, how have you adjusted or shifted your let's say, strategies, especially marketing, uh, during this, uh, ano yung tawag mo, uh, COVID? COVID season. Uh, season yun, yun. Uh, well, siguro, yung financial planning firm ko, uh, before, of course, we meet our clients one-on-one. So ngayon, uh, we uh, Continue pa rin actually yung aming mga, mga consultation, pero syempre sa via Skype na, no? And I would say hindi masyadong na apektuhan yung aming operations on that part. Ang nawala lang talaga sa akin is yung mga speaking engagements ko. However, um, lately, just last week, I, I started getting invitations na rin from companies on doing online seminars for for their clients. So, I think if, unfortunately, ma-extend pa tong quarantine natin, and I, um, yun, uh, probably yun na yung mangyayari, so I would still continue my my income on the professional level. Uh, of course, meron akong, meron akong BPO, uh, which I am partnered with my cousin. So, yun talaga, uh, shutdown yun, no? kasi wala talaga. Uh, but, I uh, well according to my my cousin kasi siya talaga yung COO doon uh may, they they are still continuing mga email support lang so very minimal and I asked them kung is there anything that I can do sabi nila kaya na naman daw nila so I think the the point here is yung Ano ba yung pwede mong gawing productively during this time? If there's really nothing that you can do for your business, then perhaps you can do something for yourself. I know, uh, well, yung isa kong kaibigan na may laundry shop, wala din talaga siyang magagawa. So, nag online course lang siya, mga social media marketing courses, may self-development na lang siyang ginagawa para sa sarili niya. And I believe that's also something that uh, entrepreneurs can can do no so kung talagang isang linggo ka na nag-iisip kung paano mo uh, kung paano kakikita ngayong panahon na to at wala kang maiisip then maybe just go inwards go to yourself no ano ba yung pwede kong gawin para the version of you that comes out of this quarantine will be better than the person who entered it no so you 
you come out a better person out of this. No? Ayun, I, have, ang I have an example that I can uh, no, no, go uh, I have several examples, okay. But then after these examples, I'm going to zero in on one example that's happening right now in BF Home Sarap. So as I mentioned, I have friends in Facebook, no? And these are personal friends. And I saw how they're coping because these people that I'm going to mention to you are also all freelancers, okay? Pare pare, we're all free. Number one, we have a props man in, in, in production. So, tiba tigil ang shoots ngayon, diba? And you know yes, this role yes. now. Tigil Very ang shoots. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and kami, ta, kami, you know, no work, no pay. Because mm -hmm. we get paid by the day. Talent fees ang tawag doon. Okay, mm -hmm. so no work, no pay. Fritz is one of our props men, and uh, he's, he's a very in-demand uh, props man. So what does he do? I still see him every day posting. He makes this uh, little modeling, uh, anong tawag doon? Model, model, mga... Miniatures? Yeah, yeah mga sunda-sundalo, mga tanke. Uh -huh. I mean, okay. Uh, alam nyo na yung aircraft, ganyan. He mm -hmm. does that, and he shows it. It's still... Although it's not about props man job in in uh, no, but it's still mm -hmm. sort of like you know it's it's, it's into crafts. He still mm -hmm. does that. It, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, he, he's keeping himself busy because there's no point anymore. Wala pare pareho tayong lahat. Walang shoot. Walang ano. So he does that. Okay. So for sure, siyang unang tatawagan pag bumalik na nag shoot. Oi si Fritz yun maalala siya. It's it's a very we're talking about T.O.M., top of mind. Mm -hmm. Pangalawa, another well-known DJ, hindi ko alam kung kilala nyo to. His name is Boyet Season, okay? Isang sikat na, ano yan, uh, voiceover announcer, live commentator, mm -hmm. in, in, in basketball, and he's also a DJ. Siya, syempre, mm -hmm. walang nagpa-party ngayon, di ba? Lalo nang nagba-basketball, so anong gagawin niya? He does DJing from his bedroom. Pinapaki and nilagyan niya, okay, cellphone, DJ, DJ siya doon. Oh, let's have a party, guys! Woo, woo, woo! Yung ganon. Pero minsan nakamute kasi pinapatay ng Facebook because of copyright issues. So, kamot siya ng ulo. After, yeah, after three days, sayo, 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 biglang, eh, walang, ano nangyari? Kasi pinatay because of copyright. So, hanap na naman siya ng ibang kanta na pwedeng i-broadcast na libre. Ganon. So, tuloy-tuloy pa rin siya. Okay, he's not earning from it. Who else? Lisa Makuha, siyempre, walang students na yun sa ballet studio. What did she do? She offered online ballet lessons to beginners, siyempre, beginners lang. We have yeah. a, a neighbor in Ayala, Alabang, who makes uniforms, okay? Uh, uh, household, house help uniforms, okay? Siguro na ngayon, now's not the time to buy a uniform, ano? So what did she do? She... <laughs> Ano, bakit naman makabibili ka ng uniform, ng yayas uniform? So, yung mga scrap tela niya, ginawa niyang masks. Oh and then she's, yeah, ang dami dami. Yes, she posted. So, okay, okay neighbors, gano, madami kaming Viber group. Neighbors, I made several dozens of cloth masks. Parang nakita ko, ay, shucks, eh, yun yung tela ng yayas uniform ko. Anyway, so ang dami. Just, I'm just going to put it outside the door on a wooden bench by the sidewalk. Just pick it up. Get whatever you want. Ganon, di ba? So, ayun. Last, Raymond Isaac. Kaklasiko, barkada ko. He's I'm sure, kilala mo Fitz. Raymond Isaac. I don't know if you know. Hindi naman siya nagre-lessons, no? He's not giving lessons. But since he's a celebrity photographer, every 3 p.m., sabay tayong nag-start. Meron siyang FB Live with a celebrity. Mm. So, andyan sila si Ann Santos, andyan sila, yung mga arti-artista niyang ano. Yun, ang daming nanonood. Ganon. Robert Alejandro of Pape Melroti. Nagtuturo siya every 10 a.m. Paano mag-drawing. Yung ano ko, yung niece ko, nag-ano dun eh, naka... nakatutok. Naka Tapos, sinoshow niya rin yung art niya. Si Robert, Nato. si Robert. Uh -oh. Yes, ako, ako rin sumali. Ano, New wife is part of the same illustrator community, yung Ang Ink. 
Ink. So, ah, ink. Uh-oh. And then din yung wife ko eh. Astig yun. Astig oh, si Kia Robert. It's fun, Robert. diba? It's fun. Uh-oh. Parang blues. Galing, galing. <laughs> ito, that's why ito. So, nabigyan ko na kayo ng example. My last example, which is relevant. And the reason why I'm here, no? There's this young chef. Palagay ko, anak yata ni Janice de Belen yun eh. Luigi Mulak. Du- anak mm. pa niya yun. Oh, anyway, he's a chef. Okay? Higi <laughs> boy. Yun, yun. I think there is a boy. He's now a chef. He's a young chef. Siyempre, people don't go to restaurants anymore. People don't, ano. I, I don't know where he used to work before as a chef. Wala na, sarado ng mga hotels, you know. So, ang ginawa niya, pasok siya. BF home sarap. Sabi niya, okay guys, I plan to do, ba, give me a, a dish. I plan to do salpicao on Friday. Ba, Monday pa lang, oh. On Friday, I'm gonna do 15 orders. Who wants an order? Okay. Nakita ko yun. Nakita yun. ko yun. Unless, until meron pa siyang ano, I'm not, I'm just selling it to, ano lang ha, in the community, BF residents lang. So, kumbaga, wala pa siyang, hindi pa siya nagluluto noon ha. Kumuha na siya ng pre-orders. pre-orders. Yeah. Aling. Para, hindi na niya ilalako. He confirmed na, okay, order, okay, op. Sarado na tindahan, nakakuha na siya ng 15 orders. So, guaranteed na, even if he has to bankroll these 15 orders, let's say magluluto siya Friday ng umaga or Thursday ng gabi. So, bibili na niya yon. Anyway, meron na naman siyang ready buyers eh. So, kikita na siya, I don't know magkano markup ng ganyan, 20%, 30%. Alam ko malaki pag ano eh, uh, wala namang pwesto, di ba? Benta na kagad. Meron na kagad siyang orders. And, naka-ano na siya? Yep. I think, naka-fourth batch na siya. Mm. Tapos, in-expand na niya yung community. Hindi lang basta dito. Pumunt- nag-offer na rin siya sa Alabang. Kasi, pwede naman pumasok basta pagkain yung dala mo eh. Pagkain, medicine, or mga essentials. So, namin na. Kaya, agawan na. Agawan na pag naglabas mm. yung ano ng ulam, uh, ng ibebenta, ayan na. Didisag mo, kundi, ubus na yan. So, yan. yes, yes, yes. Oh. Nagawa niya yun. Wala siya Pala- negosyo eh. Wala. Nasa bahay lang siya. Kalagi talaga siyang ano, it all boils down talaga to connecting and, to an yeah. audience. So, and maganda, magaganda yung schedule niya. Hindi, hindi lang basta ano, hindi lang basta, uy, food stylist ako eh. Yeah. <laughs> hindi lang maganda, maganda yung static post niya. Ginamit niya yung siguro, ewan ko saan niya ginamit, yung mga previous uh, materials on video. Um, I'm sure meron na siyang mga demo, ano nun. Yun ang ginamit niya. Yun ang pinost niya. Aba, eh, di syempre, tululaway naman yung mga tita, no? Mga lola. Oh, I want to buy Gayon. So there, it also helps that you have good food style. Yeah, yeah. H, H, alam, alam, alam na H, ha? Oh my. Muna natin yung food. Tell me, pakita mo muna sa akin yung pagkain na ipopost mo so that Uh-oh. I can give you lessons on food. May mga nagtanong guys. May mga nagtanong. Actually, na- naisip ko na rin na ano eh. Naisip ko na rin. Ah, before kasi last year, nag, nag-start ako ng YouTube channel. Parang tutorial on how to um, prepare food. Kaso hmm. na-stop na kasi medyo dumami yung clients ko. So, hmm. ngayon, medyo dahil nga may space na. Um, I'm also thinking about doing that. So, I agree with everyone that and it's awesome that we have free platforms like um, yeah, YouTube, yeah. Facebook, Instagram, yeah. where we can share value. Na hindi ka gumagastos kasi it's already available. Yeah, and challenge yeah. ka talaga is yung bandwidth ng internet na nagkakaproblema. Like for me, ako ilang yeah. beses ako kick out dahil sa internet. Oh, yeah. You know, um, it's it's not always about the ano, it's not always about the profit. It's not always about the the costing. It's all about bringing value to the table and Right now, that's what brands need to do, especially with us freelancers. Because um, kami naman at this time, it's also a challenge for us, guys. Because technically, small businesses din kami, so it's also a challenge for us, especially when um, our clients are dropping. So, um, to yun den. Kaya maganda din yung ginagawa namin na show den. Na kahit sabihin mo na stop lahat, it's still a time for us to give. But yung katulad yan, we we can also um, reach out to small businesses and maybe partner, um, mm. show how we can help. Like, do, do you need um, strategies? Do you need tips with branding? 
So, yun din eh. Kumbaga, it's a time for us to help each other grow then. To be generous with the information also. Yeah. Yes. yeah. There, there was one tip that I shared because meron akong konting advertising and marketing background. I shared to uh, my sellers, no? The sellers. Okay. What is the added value? You always have to think of your added value, of your brand's added value. What is your added value now? Okay. If you're a seller in BF Home Sarap, you have to put something. Maybe now you can, it's not enough. Okay. It may be enough because we are all captive audience. No, we are locked inside our house. Maybe it's enough that you advertise there that, um, that I'm selling this, I'm going to sell, let's say, mango sago on Thursday, who wants to buy, ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. Okay, benta na yan, okay? Sigurado, benta ka, kasi i-deliver mo, pipick up mo, walang makalabas, wala, hindi naman mango sago, no? But, I tell them, what makes your mango sago different from other mm. mango sagos? Or what makes, that's just product, ah product category or brand category now let's talk about product what makes your mango sago different from other meriendas right now mm -hmm. okay think about it meron meron ano dagdagan mo lagi itaas mo dun sa caption mo i offer contactless delivery i will step mm -hmm. aside six feet away from your gate <laughs> and I'll, you know, relevant na yun yun eh, di ba? So, so, pag nakita mo, kagad, is if you're a buyer, ay, mga gusto ko, uy, contactless, oo oh, oh, nga, maganda nga yun. Ipapakis yung ganito, nakamask siya. Sabi ko, pakita mo nakamask ka or something. Nakamask siya, ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. Tapos, uh, payment online na lang, wala nang exchange of hands. Yung ganun. E di plus factor yun na yun, di ba? You, that Actually, will, may nag-implement na. Oo, yeah, may nag -implement that will na. make you different from other mango sagos or that will make you different mm. from probably suman if you're talking about merienda, no? merienda mm. category na. That will make you different from whatever merienda is because mm -hmm. of your relevance right now. Speaking well, of mango sago, my yeah. question oh. from my user. Oh, about mango sago. Uh, how do you expand the fruit business pero hindi sa go <laughs> fruit how do yes. you expand uh ano ba to uh, expand the business in general or how do you survive uh, my fruit stall daw siya bro ah okay and then my fruit stall siya pero senior citizen na siya ngayon so she's vulnerable to covid hindi siya makalabas and fruits uh, have a shelf life diba yeah. oh, oh, so tama. that's one and sakto sakto question Kasi I actually witnessed something, that, a pivot that has been made by an actual fruit seller na nagbibenta ng mango of all things. Mm -hmm. So connected lahat. So ito guys, so, si, si Kev sa, sa, sa screen share ko dun sa Start of PH, nagbibenta talaga sila ng mango tapos mag-harvest pa lang sila ngayong April 7 ito. Mag-harvest pa lang sila. Mm -hmm. So sabi, oh my God, hindi na nila pwedeng i-export kasi because mm -hmm. of restrictions. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. nag reach out to see si Kevin Grace. Anak siya ng original na proprietor ng plantation. Mm -hmm. So now, they're looking to to sell it to Facebook using bulk buyers. Tapos, hindi pa nila na-harvest yung, yung actual fruits. Mm -hmm. Nag-pre-pre-sell na sila kasi April 8 pa sila mag-start ng delivery. Mm -hmm. uh, you know. So, uh, ano yung response ng mga tao dito? So, it was actually very, ano, Mataas yung engagement, like ang daming yung bumili, 80 comments. Yeah. yeah Tapos, yeah. how much? Uh, yeah. HM. 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 nila. So, that's one way for a business who typically does uh, it a different way. Nig pivot mm -hmm. sila kagad. So, yeah. they, they actually set, set out feelers away from the actual harvest. Matagal yeah. pa. So, mm -hmm. ito, ito naman. Dahil yung tanong ni uh, Mary Ann was uh, fruit stall siya. So, smaller seller. And itong, ito kasi, I, I actually got this idea from dun sa isang group na fitness group that I'm part of. Na nag-share siya ng gulay na drop-off. So, before it used to be from, from Benguet. But now, meron silang uh, 
mga initiative na pala yung local government that you can connect with. So, right now, guys, syempre, food is a big, syempre, talagang necessity. Siya, hindi siya pwedeng mawala. So, mm-hmm. ang ginawa nila to make sure na, ano, ayun sila, oh, they actually are still helping farmers. They're connecting to farmers. But kung fruit stall yung business mo, you can connect para ka sumabay dito, sakay ka sa, sa ano nila. And then, kung, kung senior citizen ka nga, you cannot be there physically kasi magulo yung yeah. magulo yung mga fruit stalls there, diba? Yes. Magulo yung mga ano. What you can do, you, again, you can pre-sell para mm-hmm. pwede mo nang ano, nakabalot na siya doon and then get ka mag anak to do it for a younger, yes. Yes. a stronger, parang healthier, ano, um, pamangkin or apo. So, ano siya? And then, uh, yun yung nangyari. Successful din. So, parang marami ding bumili. Pero ngayon, meron ng quarantine pa so you actually have to be falling in line to buy this but still nag-work siya kasi ano to eh parang di ba parang another initiative that you can still do to help farmers and still kung ikaw meron ka ring fruits pwede mo rin siyang i-reach out so mm-hmm. yun nga kung wala kang community pwede to ha kasi we, we are talking about people who are not previously connected online without a following so ito yung pwede mong gawin sabay ka sa mga caravan or look out for community caravans be yeah. be proactive in reaching out and joining facebook groups mm-hmm. or mga forums so yun yung gagawin mo kapag uh, ikaw yung nagsasell right mm-hmm. and then my question naman si Mala because she has a tutorial center uh, and ano uh, i think uh, she uh, fits and oh sorry um, um so then i ano ko muna yung since nasa food oh, tapos uh, I'll ask oh, sige uh, titas, like for yeah. example, nagtanong din, uh, any tactic selling raw fruits and veggies, uh, pwede ba sa home sarap ang, ang fruits? So, and yeah, yeah. We relax the rules already. Pwede. And mm-hmm. ano, yung, ano yung steps? Let's say they are located in the areas kung nasan si home sarap. Ano yung um, steps for them to join well, as a seller? First, they have to figure out um, kung saan sila malapit. Kasi meron, ilan lang yan eh. There's Merville, there's DF, ganun. Um, choose which among them, which among the the home sarap URLs, uh, home mm-hmm. sarap groups are, and then just uh, ask to be a member, apply for membership, and then we will see. Naman eh, um, there are some questions there. Uh, what are you selling? Ganun. And then um, post. Maghihanda nanya yung. I hope he's post. online. Online ba siya? Oh, hindi. W- wala siya. Is he on Can Facebook? Can you see online siya? Hindi ko kasi wala siyang... Kasi kung walang Facebook, hindi natin makikirapan eh. Hindi natin matutulungan. So, kailangan makahanap siya ng someone na merong Facebook. Ngayon, kung si Lola naman, di ba? Um, sabi, ay wala akong kilala. O di... Kailangan, <laughs> kasi, kasi ang tanong niya, paano siya makabenta sa Facebook eh? Paano ka siya matutunan? Kung wala... So, maghanap siya ng kakilala isang kamag-anak, kapitbahay, and Lola, isuggest ko, bigyan mo isang kilong mangga. <laughs> diba? O, so, kaya pwede rin siya makipag-coordinate dun sa, ano, dun sa local communities. Na, no, imbis na, ano, pwede siya mag-source dun eh. Yes, pero she cannot go oh, out there, diba? So, someone has, has, siguro Mary Ann can help her na lang din. Someone has to do it pero for since her. Since kakilala mo naman siya. Yeah mag ex sila, bigyan niya isang kilong mangga, dalawang kilong mangga. Yun, ganun. O in exchange for exposure in Bia Foam Sarap. Yeah, ah, I, I think, ano... Um, para paraan, an, as we said. Yeah, uh, an orthodox na strategy na naisip ko lang is, uh, I'm assuming wala siyang problema sa supply, no? so meron siyang pwedeng ibentang prutas at gulay. Mm-hmm. And I'm also assuming may kasama siya sa bahay na, na may Facebook. Yeah. And I believe during these times, um, uh, very powerful your stories. So what she can do is uh, mag-post siya kasama ng mga gulay niya at saka mga putas niya. Tapos uh, gumawa siya ng narrative na hindi ako makalabas, makapagbenta, mabubulok yung mga putas at gulay ko. And then sabihin niya doon na dito ako nakatira sa address na to. So kung sino yung malapit, may quarantine class. Pwede kayong pumunta dito. Can you Pwede silang bumili diretso sa direct sa kanya 
dun sa bahay niya, no? And uh, since wala siyang following online, pwede siyang mag-approach ng mga online influencers. I believe itong mga to, mga very willing to share, no? So, oh, yeah. just an example na naisip ko, kuwari, taga Quezon City siya, maghanap siya nung med artista siguro or kung sino man na taga Quezon City din na pwedeng i-tweet. Si Herbert. Oh, yeah. Or, or i-post online yung story niya. So, again, very important yung story kasi doon makaka-relate yung mga tao. Eh. So, dapat medyo maganda yung picture. Alam mo yun? Uh, Food style. Yeah. <laughs> yung, ang dami-dami yung prutas at gulay. Tapos ako oh. si Lola, di ba? So, Dito parang ang daming, ang daming supply story. ni Lola. No? Mm. Parang more, Kickstarter. Like oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Let's so, help Lola to yung sell yeah. her mangoes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> naisip ko lang to kasi um, sa Twitter ko, there are a lot of people who have been Uh, messaging me, trying to get help uh, in putting some word out doon sa mga sarili-sarili nilang mga donation drives. So, maybe it's something that you can also do. No? You reach out to influencers so that yeah. you can uh, reach more people. And in fact, meron akong isang friend na ang ginagawa niya is nagko-connect siya ng, ng mga tao na ito Uh, naghahanap ng ng pagkain na tapos ito mga restaurants na alam niyang may mga alam mo yun, may mga supply so something like that pag may nakita siyang ganon pwede niyang lapitan na oy pwede mo rin siguro akong i-connect sa mga naghahanap ng gulay at prutas no uh-huh. and yun nga he won't, she won't be able to survive kung walang tulong ng mga kamag-anak or kapitbahay so uh, that's something that she should really ano think about no uh, dahil nga senior citizen eh but i think people are more than willing to help nowadays so wala siyang kailangan ipagwori about eh? if i may add ever... for say okay, okay. Real quick. Uh, we have nine minutes to go no. uh, <laughs> okay may comment ka rona yeah. and then We'll Maybe, answer the last question about sure. online Maybe, ano, courses. Really quick lang. So for me, for example, since apart from Facebook, Instagram is also a big potential in terms of a platform for even for fruits and vegetables. Because even for me, for some reason, targeted ako. And I think it's because mahilig din ako magluto. So madalas din ako nagpapadeliver talaga ng vegetables and fruits. And I think for other sellers, if you want to take it a step further, Instagram is a really good platform as well. You can even add recipes there, especially for people na sa quarantine period pa lang nag-experiment na magluto, yung mga sanay lang na magpa-deliver, na ngayon medyo pahirapan na rin kahit meal deliveries. Eh. So if you'd like to attach recipes on what they can do with the vegetables that you offer or the fruits that you offer, that can definitely be your advantage compared to also other sellers out there na talagang straight up, raw fruits and vegetables lang. So again, it goes back to value. If you can attach there, what can they do with the produce that you have? It'll be really much better, I think. And especially for young professionals, that's what they want. Because eh. sometimes they don't know what they're supposed to order or what are they going to do with this amount of vegetables and fruits. May paano ba nila lulutuin to? Kahit yun pa lang, eh, malaking, malaking bagay na rin siya. So that's it. Nakagutom yung topic natin. <laughs> okay, uh, the, our last question, um, Shoden, kay, kay Mala ba? Yung... Ah, nakamit ka. And how do you how do you convert a tutorial yeah. center into online tutoring? Uh, mad- actually, medyo madali lang. <laughs> uh, so, well, I, I can... I, I, what I can say is, uh rito, you, you explore yung mga mga le- online learning platforms like Udemy and all. So you can upload there yung mga tutorial sessions mo. Um, pwede kang mag-offer ng some free course so that you can get their their email and then mag-upsell ka na lang ng mga, mga full paid, uh, paid courses mo. Ngayon, kung ikaw yung tipong uh, tutorial na one-on-one, then you can use online to build your brand and then parang kami yung YouTube channel namin 
uh, although nagkwentuhan lang talaga kami doon and uh, it has been really helpful in getting us uh, consultation uh, <laughs> clients no na nagpapa talagang nagsa Skype video uh, for our financial consultation so siguro just build a community an online community have an online presence and uh, learn the technology kung paano ka paano mo i-deliver yung tutorial service mo through the internet and uh, yun madali na lang i-search yan and siguro very quick then may nakita ko na okay bang maningil ngayon sa mga online courses uh, sa akin kung ang target market mo ay very capable to pay even during these times then go ahead no of course ko ang target market mo ay siguro sabihin na natin mga employees na alam natin na medyo hirap sa finances then probably it's not a good time pero kung ang target market mo ay mga alam mo yun, mga entrepreneurs or yung mga tao na tipong may budget naman kahit ganitong panahon then go ahead okay lang so I would like oh. to add dun sa sinasabi ni Sir Fritz kasi this is a great time for you to test you kung sobrang valuable ba nang ino-offer mo. So it's a time for you to see if they're interested in what you're going to talk about. So for example ako, um, I launched a five-day challenge sa writing and um, I can see na medyo challenge sa akin kumunek. Although there are people who are um, still engaging, yung mga topics I think is not that fit pa dun sa... Um, audience na na-create ko. So, yeah, just go and try it. Oh, Kasi dumb. free naman eh. Everyone is, ano eh, everyone is or, craving for the right yeah. content. Then. Or they oh, can that's... offer a free course. As in, yun nga, five-day course na libre. Build the list. Oh, build the list. Build their list and then upsell sa, after, you know, upsell do sa mga attendees ng mga paid courses mo. That can also, you can also do that. Mm-hmm. And ito, no, may nakita rin pala akong tanong yung how can business or uh, for business owners wanting to diversify their investments uh paano i don't know kung uh, ano ibig niya sabihin sa diversify their investments but um i think siguro creating other revenues do sa business well again depending do sa negosyo mo sa nature ng negosyo mo but of course uh if there's really a good time to plan. <laughs> uh, it is now, no? Na nasa bahay ka. Um, you can do a lot of research online. Mga professionals, they're very easy to contact. Uh, may mga kilala talaga ako, nakaka-interview siya sa podcast niya ng mga three to four people every day kasi alam niya, nasa bahay lang yung mga gusto niyang interview. <laughs> eh, di ba? So, Ay, sa daming time ng mga tao. <laughs> oh, so, now really is the time to to do some planning, to do some analysis yeah. uh, for your business. And yun nga, prepare for the time na we start to recover as a, ano, as a country. Uh, the world starts to recover from the pandemic and be ready when the opportunity comes. No? So for, ano, for freelancers, maganda rin tong time na to, to offer BCS para kapag nagkaroon na ng opportunity when everything is back on track meron ka ng line parang ano um yung hinihintay na clients na mag-avail ng services mo so that's also a good yeah tama nga it's a time to rethink your strategies plan everything else and you know reach out and share what you know to the world kasi everyone is watching Saka, sabi nga ni Miss Ditas kanina Ang tao nagsasawa sa Netflix, nagsasawa na rin sa YouTube, nagsasawa na sa TikTok. So people are, are really looking forward to learning from each other. So this yeah. is, the time is now, just ko Lord. <laughs> uh, may mga kilala akong freelancers, what they're busy now is getting certification sa mga kung ano yes. mga online courses oh. para, yes. alam mo yun, ma-jack up nila yung kanilang mga rates or ma-increase na yung mga rates nila. <laughs> So, yun, no, habang wala pa silang masyadong mga clients yeah, kayo, yeah. get certification. Yeah. And daming libreng certification online. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think uh, we have, we have, uh, so, parang ang dami pa natin pwede yung pag-usapan. And uh, we're running out of time. Uh, I'll ask mm-hmm. first uh, uh, yung COVID break team, uh, yung key takeaway nila, number one takeaway from this talk. And then we'll ask uh, fits and Ditas to 
say goodbye and uh, promote anything they want to share to our uh, viewers and listeners. Uh, start with H, your key takeaway today. Akong key takeaway ko is from ano, Miss Ditas. Yung, you have to be different. You have to really find out what's different or what sets you apart from others kasi that's going to be the key kung paano ka makaka-attract ng tamang customer despite the circumstances. So, yun. Thank you, H. Rona? I think number one definitely has been about community and definitely being in touch no matter what the circumstances are. And at the same time, it's realizing that when you share your story, lalo na yung mga case study natin kanina, pag sinishare kasi ng tao yung pinagdadaanan nila, mas authentic sila, mas nare-reach nila yung tao, yung customers nila, clients nila. It's underrated, pero especially now, it's super, super important. And speaking of that, um, siguro last tip na lang for business owners or freelancers, especially when the opportunity comes. Ngayon pa lang, kahit hindi kayo marunong mag... May, hindi kasi lahat ng tao marunong mag-storytelling talaga. Hindi lahat ng tao marunong mag, mag, mag-post ng anong kwento nila. So I think, at the very least ngayon, mag-document lang tayo. Take photos, write a little bit, um, take photos of your everyday life, your everyday struggles, and then maybe... People like creatives, people like uh, producers, like us in in marketing, we can help you use that material, and we can help you come up with something, especially after this lockdown, so we can we can use it. Na we can help you with that storytelling part. Pero it's on you right now. Na kahit simpleng small clips, small video clips, small photos, um, any voice notes you have, or any little thoughts you have throughout the day. I know that it doesn't make sense right now, tsaka very emotional tayo lahat. Pero eventually, um, weeks from now, it, it'll make sense. It'll make sense and may makikita tayong value sa ginagawa niyo. So, very important na mag-journal lang tayo, mag-document lang tayo. Thank yeah. you, Rona. Shoden? Astig, astig yung ano sabi nga ni Rona kasi storytelling, yan talaga yung ano din, yung sabi ni Fitz na nagtatahe ng mga kahit ano pang business yan. If, if people can stand behind your story kung sino ka, what you actually stand for, and why you exist, they will actually probably buy your product na rin kung gusto ka nila. Kasi ultimately, it's all about people. It's all about relationships. Like, and the biggest takeaway ko naman from Ditas was um, she needed, and it's important, it's imperative for us to uphold our values talaga to the highest measure and operate at a high quality kahit anong mangyari kahit kahit ano tas parang people will fall into into parang line kasi they know na oh ito may structure dito kahit magulo in the world na magulo na walang nangyayaring maayos na may structure para sila they they seem to be well put together pa rin that's what also makes people gravitate to us so thank you for sharing that very valuable piece okay fits naman astig yung ano niya <laughs> yung sinabi niya dun sa, kasi palagi naman ako naastigan kay Fitz. Eh. Pero, <laughs> <laughs> pero, pero at yung sinabi niya dun sa with working with influencers, kasi you know, he's at that stage where as an influencer naman din talaga, he knows people who knows people. And I got some ideas then to to actually do some of my freelance stuff from what he shared kanina na he would, he would uh, you know, go on interviews and get more people to actually just talk about the thing and you know have have more compassion and grow your audience at the same time so from both of you guys thank you so much then for sharing uh what you shared and yeah let's give it back to marv Muna before we yeah. give you guys that before <laughs> i was able to write down new mga ideas uh na 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 share throughout this one and a half hours you mga businesses i think if you're if you're watching or listening right now, I hope na kayo to and you you take action. So na pag na ang mga nabanggit yoga teach yoga teacher yoga studio, um yung bar na si Abby ni Fitz, uh, pharmacy, yung props man, mm-hmm. yung nag DJ, yeah. ballet di sa makuha, yung nananahe na gumawa ng mask, yeah. yung tisak uh, photographer nag Facebook live. Uh, mm-hmm. si Iggy Boy anak ni uh, ni Janice De Belen, a chef yeah. so and then yung fruits and online uh, tutorial so um, I think we achieve 
yung goal natin for for this uh, COVID break. And uh, thank you very much, Ditas and Fitz. And uh, yeah, your your message to our viewers. Uh, let's start with uh, ladies first, Ditas. Okay. Um, I'm scared. I'm going to make it quick. Okay. Um, we talked about selling already, but it goes beyond selling products. I think uh, if you are selling something, you know, para para tayo ngayon, um, don't worry about what you're, what is happening today. Of course, there's something to worry about. Don't think about what, if, if you have problems about what to do, you don't know what to do. Don't think about now. Think about how you want yourself to be, per, how the public perception when this is over. How you want to be perceived when this is over. Okay, if you're a big brand, Coke is doing perfectly well. They went into, um, you're giving away something. Louis Vuitton, okay, now's not the time to be indulging in luxuries. What did they do? Because uh, they sell perfumes. They produced a lot of alcohol and sanitizers, okay? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, they like uh, like gave away sanitizers and alcohol. Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton yeah. And then um, medium scale, you can still do that also. Itipin mo, after this, what do I, how do I want people to see me? Because the last thing you want consumers to, uh, to think of you is that you are tone deaf and you are wow. irrelevant. You were being irrelevant during the crisis. And it also applies to all of us people, you, 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 my, myself. If there's a crisis right now. Now is not the time for me to post pictures of when I was abroad or post <laughs> pictures of my luxury, of looking back memories. Oh, I was in Bali or I was in the Swiss Alps. Come on, no, you know, now's not the time. Say something <laughs> red hot. After this is over, I'm gonna think na yabang talaga no, during the crisis. You know? So that, you know, I mean, diba? Parang, hello? Wag naman niya. Teach us something. Show us something more substantial, di ba? So, kasi after this, nakakatar... I will remember Louis Vuitton as being, uy, susya, may alcohol, pero namigay. Coke, wow. They stopped their budget. I will never forget that. I will never mm. forget who they were. I will never forget the friends who talked about helping other people, who spent time about COVID and, and you know, but I will never forget also those mayabang ones. But is that a good si Coco way? Coco ben. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Is that a good way to be remembered? I don't think so. Not now. Not now. Yeah. So don't stop marketing yourself. Don't stop the business. Because when everything is over, you will be remembered. You will be on top of mind and make sure that they have a very good memory of you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and very good. Thank you. <laughs> thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you for having me. Ako uh, a business kasi the the what you provide the world is value. Diba? You bring value to the world. You bring value to your customers. And just because we are in COVID season doesn't mean that you should stop. So you should continue. Uh, albeit uh, you have to find creative ways to offer value to your target customers. And uh, sa tingin ko, yun lang talaga yung kailangan mong gawin ngayon. Mm -hmm. But on a personal level, you try to see how can you be a better entrepreneur. Uh, try to see how you can improve as a person so that pagkatapos itong COVID season, you'll come out stronger and better, you know? And mm -hmm. uh, I guess that's my key message that I want uh, people to understand and, and realize uh, today, especially yung mga entrepreneurs. And mm -hmm. if I may promote, ayan, yes, uh, sure. kung, kung nagustuhan nyo yung live stream na to, I actually also do my own live stream sa YouTube channel ko. So you can uh, go to, ayan, syempre, handa ako. <laughs> My YouTube channel, okay. which is uh, Ready to Be Rich YT. Okay. Yan ang YouTube channel ko. So, I usually do live streams every weekend. Uh, this coming Saturday at 3 p.m., I, I will do a live stream. So, kung may likay sa podcast, you can check out my podcast. Ayan, which is the 80%. Ang tante niya is the 80%. You can search for that sa 
Spotify and sa Apple Podcast. And I actually have a, a big <laughs> network of content. So I, I, I have a lot of content channels. You can go to my portal at readytoberich.com. Nandyan lahat yung link to my blog, to my YouTube, to my podcast, to my Facebook page, Instagram account, and Twitter account. Ayan. Readytoberich.com. Nandyan ang aking portal. So ayun. So anda tayo. Kasi ang dami na nag interview sa akin. Naisip ko, this will be a handy way to promote um, my channel. Kaya naghanda na siya. <laughs> Ah, Dita, yeah, nasa, thank you. Nasa hand mo na. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Yes, uh, your group? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. There are several home sarap groups already. There's BF Home Sarap, which is uh, servicing BF and the Spinas and Alabang. There is Merville. So you have your Merville, Sun Valley, Better Living. You can join that. Both buyers and sellers. And then there's Makati, BGC. Konti pa lang yan, but it's growing. And then... Pasig. Pasig can service um, Pasig and Mandaluyong. That's Pasig Metro Home East. Sarap. There's Metro East. So, yan yung Marikina side. Yan yung on the east. And there's Antipolo also. So, there. Mostly, uh-huh. these are mga residential communities. Mm. Sige. There. What I'll do is share the links uh, to yes. your groups and yung mga Shinar Mered Fits. So yes. guys, thank you. Thank Sinair you. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm so ready. Uh, kulang ang oras. Who, who knew yeah. na one hour, 30 minutes. Uh, nakalampas sa tayo. Ng almost two hours sa tayo. But we all have the time. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll do this again next week. I hope you can join us as well. And Ditas and Fitz are always, are always welcome to join us. Thank you guys. Uh, please uh, join our group. Uh, just go to, uh, I created a special link, freelanceblend.com slash samahan. So it means samahan and samahan. Samahan ng, ng mga small business owners ngayon and it's samahan. It's it's a group. So please uh, join us. And again, guys, thank you and have a safe day. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.